Welcome to Ginger Gnome Episode 8. Going to be doing Epic Elite Detour. I'm not a big fan of this quest, but I haven't done a video of it, so thought I'd do it. It also um, has a lot of mods I can PK in here. And definitely, you know, one weakness of the way that I'm playing this is if I can't, if I can't PK mobs, then I'm, I'm killing them pretty slowly. So I'm sure that things could be built differently so that I could do more DPS, but I'm really just focusing on on my PK, you know, my level 27, level 27 now, my level 27 feet, I picked up Epic Spell Penetration. And um, the PK is still holding up for mobs that can be PK'd, but um, let's see where the, the gear is. A lot of new stuff I think since last video so evocation focus 5, spell penetration 5, goggles pick these up for a good deal on the auction house I got light armor just because it had some stuff on it I, I wanted the frozen tunic I was wearing it, it was the only thing I was benefiting from was the ice lore I just wanted to get something else so it's got impulse 120 and that's really about it I, there's the random generated armor is so bad, and I don't know, just nothing else I had that I wanted to wear. I have it slotted up with Sapphire Spell Agility to negate the spell failure that comes from it. And I, it's worth mentioning here too. I was just having a conversation with somebody a week or so ago about spell failure, and you know, it's and they were confused because it still says spell failure 15% on the armor, so they thought they were experiencing spell failure, even though they they were offsetting it with an augment and the armor will still say that you know that's that's a stat of the armor and what you want to look at is actually the you know hover over one of your spells here and if you had spell failure then it would say in red letters like underneath the stats before the description like I think underneath where it says spell resistance it would say you know arcane spell failure whatever percent red letters can't miss it so hover over one of your regular spells um, just to, you know, if you want to double check about your arcane spell failure. Legendary green steel bracers. These are just tier two, nothing special. It's You can't, you know, they're not displaying properly, but it's just basically a spell point and hit point item. Charisma skills. And got the Epic Guardian's Ring now. The only difference between this and the heroic version I was wearing in the last video is this has Strength 8 on it. And I have it slotted up with Diamond of Intimidate 11, because that's what Ginger normally wears when she is a druid. Uh, Orcs Privateer Boots, I just slotted that up with Globe of True Imperial Blood to get me up to the next even number of intelligence. This is New Gloves of the Master Illusionist. It has a, in, Illusion Focus 5. Intelligence 10. I have it slotted with Greater Illusion Focus. Sage's Ring. This is the epic version. Just got it really for the Potency 92 slotted with Feather Falling. Epic Belt of Thoughtful Remembrance. This is a gorgeous belt. Comes out of, I believe, Epic Flesh Makers in the Orchard. False Life 35 slotted. Uh, Con 11. Resistance 11. Concentration 20. Dodge 11%, greater regeneration, all kinds of good stuff on there. Awesome belt. I love it. And this is new uh, since last video. This is my mysterious cloak. This is normally end game gear for, for me when I'm on my druid, and it's just a cloak that I had, and I didn't need the old cloak that was there. So uh, it's got some heal lamp on there, some MRR. I got it slotted up with good luck. And still have the epic treasure hunter spyglass. It's worth mentioning too, if you you know if you're a little bit newer, you started playing the last couple of years or so, that this is like an old version of it. That's why you don't see where it says you know that it has. I can't remember even what color slot it normally has, but uh, before the new augment system, the way it worked is you know once you slotted it up, that was it, boom. And uh, you know you can update this to a new version where it's, you know, you can change out the augments, but I just, you know, I I think that's a uh, Vitality 20 in there. In any event, you know, I like it the way it is, so I'm just leaving it. 
Silver Flame Talisman, that's the same. So is the Green Steel Mineral 2 Helmet. And still using the Illusion Focus. <laughs> Insightful Illusion 2, this, that, uh, that's starter gear for the Deep Gnome. And uh, this is the same Rapier, because I just haven't. I've been looking for something better, but I don't know. There's nothing, nothing is exciting me. Or at least I haven't, haven't been able to find anything. Change things around just a little bit. I got rid of these two things just to get the extra point of uh, of intelligence. And I also shaved off some of the enhancements. Got rid of Conjure Stone. I think I, I got rid of a tier of Spell Critical. I wanted to get this point of uh, intelligence over here. And so with my Yugo Pots, I've got the Illusion, or the PKDC, up to 68 now. And that's working pretty well in here. It's definitely not 100%, but you know, I came in here when I had it a little bit lower than that, like 63, 64, and it wasn't hitting well enough to, you know, make it reasonably viable, at least without, you know, chugging a bunch of pots and having to recast it a bunch of times. And even, even you know, you're going to see me having to cast this, you know, a couple times on some mobs. But most of the mobs in here can be PK. There's some spiders that I can't PK. And so they'll be a little bit of a pain in the butt. So I, you know, I admittedly am cherry picking my quests a little bit, um, especially for the video. But, um, but even as I'm just going through my life, you know, just sort of avoiding quests that have a lot of mobs that I can't PK. But one of the neat things about this one is you can see the mobs from pretty far. And because I have enlarge, I can just sit back and pluck them off. Without even really aggroing them. <laughs> Boosh. Been out of the game for a week. I was visiting friends in DC. And while I was down there, not only did I see a bunch of old friends, and I r actually ran into somebody I used to work with, which is really random but cool. But I went to see my favorite band, Jim Kata, which, if you watch the trailer for this series, that song Wild Ride is a Jim Cotta song. I actually fe feature a lot of Jim Cotta music in my videos. Um, a lot of my earlier videos had them, like my very, very first videos. Then I sort of ran out of music, but some of their newer stuff has been like used, especially in like like the song that I'll play at the end, the very last episode of my last few series. Those are all Jim Cotta songs. And they're just a small band out of Ithaca, New York, which is where I used to live, and I sort of discovered them while I was living there, and, you know, they're just sort of like a bar band, and I didn't know until I moved back home to Detroit that they actually tour nationally. <laughs> I thought they were just like a local, local, uh, Ithaca phenomenon, and then, you know, I saw that they were coming to Michigan a couple of years ago and I, I went to see them and I, and I was shocked that like people here in Michigan were singing along to their music. I was like, wow, like, it was so cool to see like people not in Ithaca that knew their music and sing along to a new note that they knew the lyrics. It was really awesome. And I'm really excited they're coming to do three shows here in Michigan next month.
PK, 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 PK. <laughs> this shit's ridiculous. Yesterday I just posted uh, my Easter hide and seek and trivia event, uh, you know, sort of announcement video. And Easter kind of snuck up on me. I thought it was last year it was you know beginning of April, and I just got back from vacation. And I was like, oh my god, it's a Sunday. So I just sort of redid the video I made last year instead of making something new. And I remember last year when I posted it because it's kind of I don't know, it's kind of a funny. I mean, it, my, I have like an offbeat sense of humor, I think, and it's it's funny to me. But some people didn't really know how to take it. They're like, "Are you serious? Like it's meant to be funny? Like this is what I think is funny." Hell yeah, you go Benson, turn her to stone. That's awesome. <laughs> Ooh, sneaky guys. Dead guys. Oh, I want to thank, shoot, I can't even remember who it was now, but somebody posted on, on my uh, my power play video, because in, in the video I commented, like, I don't understand why PK isn't, like, had no effect on the Paladins, you know, because it wasn't showing, like, save or anything or immune or whatever, it just, like, wasn't doing anything, and somebody commented that's because Paladins are immune to fear, and PK is a fear effect, so thank you very much for commenting, that makes sense now. I mean, even killing this champion dire bear is a pain in the butt for me. A simple mob that, you know, because all I am is just a, a PKer, a simple mob becomes a challenge for me to kill. over here on the left I can just skip it to save time and resources whole bunch of wolves here just gonna gather these up and this is one of the <laughs> one of the things when I when I first started playing this tune this way you know I sort of instinctively want to gather stuff up because that's the way I like to play ginger spice but I can't do that on this tune because I'm too squishy and so I find myself found myself dead a lot at first I had to really like keep telling myself 
don't gather up a bunch of mobs. You cannot kite half the dungeon together on this little PK gnome. Saved twice. And now we gotta get Song here without her. Whoa, she's a champ and she's kicking my ass. Ooh, foot. I wonder if that was those stealthing foot pads that were getting me. Holy crap! I'm gonna die. down too far. Where do you guys keep coming from? enough of that. had a few people comment and saw the videos and like I'm doing what you're doing in there and so I, I'm like don't take wizard advice from me so I, I can't say enough I can't emphasize enough like if you're watching this series do not take what I'm doing as any kind of a guide I am not the wizard guy I'm just kind of showing you what I'm doing and having fun with things but I'm definitely nobody to take wizard advice from pads are going to be the death of me.
accidentally threw a PK on him. And, oh, he does have does have death ward. It messes me up because uh, I, I don't know. Some of them show a death ward and they could still be PK'd. Spiders. I wonder if the hypnotic pattern do anything to him. I don't think so. Best thing I got against him, I think, is like the the burst, the energy burst. Some spiders can, though. I'm not sure what the difference is. Maybe it's like fiendish spiders can. See, that archer showed a death ward symbol over his head, but then I PK'd him. So I'm not sure what the deal with that is. Are now more spiders.
Force Burst. Works pretty well against them, or Arcane Blast. Not breaking through his spell resistance. Color spray is getting them though. That's pretty sweet. And he's blinded from the color spray. Awesome. Sources. the little clickies. of breakables. Don't usually do breakables in my videos. I don't know why I'm doing it this time.
There goes nothing. Wish me luck. I think I just PK'd Slam. I didn't realize I could do that. I'm not sure though. But he just seemed to die suddenly. Maybe he died because the other guy died. I usually kill the elemental first, so I'm not really sure. Hmm. Well, anyways, that's that. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs> if you have any questions about my videos, um, you can respond on YouTube. And if you happen to be on Sarlona, you are welcome to send me a tell. And I think there's only going to be one more video in this first life of this series, and then I'm going to be on to the second life. 